Hi guys, good day, it's Julie Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia on this beautiful sunny bright day um, coping with isolation a little bit um, freakish sometimes um, feeling that you can't just go out and do what you would like to do but are lucky enough to have a little bit of land that can walk around so keeping bright, feeling that I want to be painting, painting, painting. So, so happy that what this art journey has given to me in, in the form of um, therapeutic mental health well-being. So, if you haven't tried it, please do so. It's a lovely pastime. So, today I'm just doing this little 20 by 25. It's a test piece for a ring pour that I want to do. Um, and I want to bring up the cells in a ring pour to see if the th the floating cells in a ring pour give uh, you know a wonderful effect. I have done it before quite a while ago, but I haven't done it for for yeah quite a long time. So just probably one a cup would do, but uh, I might do the anyway. Anyhow, I will just go along with it and see um, how we go. So I'm using the Montmartre Studio Acrylics and my pouring medium is the 7030 uh, Montmartre Craft Glue. If you're in the US, then please, if you can't find that craft glue, go for the um, Elmer's Glue All. I haven't found the school, girl, school glue works well for me and I haven't had any good reports that the Elmer's clear glue works. It doesn't work as well. So just those two are the real shining um, examples to use for your pouring medium. But all my pouring medium recipe is on the drop down box of this video and so is my description of how I mix the paints and I put Helmar silicon in every cup uh, of paint that I mix uh, only two maybe two uh, two little um, drips out of the bottle so these are the gorgeous some of the gorgeous new colors from Montmartre Studio Acrylics the, this one is Viridian and the other one was Aqua 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 Arqua, <laughs> whatever they say. I am using some of the stunning gold in the studio acrylics. Stunning, stunning. And I really hope this gold pops through somewhere. It's so difficult to get the gold to actually pop unless you do it quite thick and a lot of it in a painting. The metallic seem to just sink a bit. But I have had uh, success, obviously, with the gold and silver popping through. I'm just going to use these last bits in this cup. Lovely, lovely. Um, go back to the white between these two. This is probably more than enough maybe i just try the one cup on this little canvas like i said it, it was for a test pour so we'll just try it and then if this works out the ring pour works out how i want it to with like 3d floating cells then i'll do it on a bigger canvas to um sell I just want to thank you guys for sticking with me for subscribing I've had a whole heap of new subscribers just lately and I'm almost almost up to 50,000 so a um, couple of weeks hopefully I'll be up there not that it really <laughs> makes any difference um, but it is lovely to think that people do support you with subscribing to your channel so there is definitely that 
Okay, this is a little bit of the turquoise. So I've got Viridian, Aqua and turquoise, white and gold. And I want to put a colour in there that will pop it. So I'm going with the orange. The orange does go well with all of those colours. It really makes those aqueous teal pop. So I will stick with it. Alrighty, I'm going to, um, I'm just going to try and see how the one, one cup works for me because on this small canvas I'm, as I said, I'm going to attempt the ring pour. So I might turn around and Come on, baby, let the pouring gods be with me today. I'm trying new things and you've got to keep giving new things a try, otherwise, you can get bored if the same old, same old. But what you find with uh, the pouring fluid acrylic painting is uh, fluid acrylic is that every single time you can do the same technique but it, it definitely turns out different every time I think I'm getting nothing but orange but I'm hoping those colors are under there and they're going to pop up with cells because I have put two drops of the Helmar silicon in all of these um, colors that I made up I do like to make my colours at least, uh, all my paints at least uh, 24 hours before I paint. I just find I get better results. So I, I do want cells in this. I want my cells to pop up so it gives a 3D effect of it. Just have to be careful when you're doing the ring pour, when you're turning it round and round, like in a twizzle, because if you've got colours that will go muddy, then they certainly will when you're doing this, because you're kind of mixing the paint as it's coming out. But I'm hoping those colours are going to pop up and show their face, especially when I put my um, heat wand on them. Oh, that Viridian is gorgeous. The, some of the new colours are absolutely stunning in the Montmartre paint. Um, and I believe that most of the new colours are were out in the USA before they were in Australia. So there is um, a link to our online shop here in Australia and they're not closed. They're as busy as ever sending out um, products to the paint painting community so the link is below and also there is a link through there to the US suppliers definitely one of these small cups is enough for this small canvas So I'm going to take it off to one side. Nice to have something a little bit different in there instead of it just, I don't mind that at all. Let's give a zipper effect. Wow. Kind of. Now, do I, do I allow it to just um, react a bit. I'm just going to put my little heat wand on it. Just adds the heat slowly to it so I want the cells to pop up so they look as though they're floating there in an outer space kind of look. I like this.
Okay, there's a lot of paint on there. It's not really much popped up in that. Let's just move that out of the way for a second while I pour this paint. Just, just um, very slowly. I just want it to give it chance to kind of react under there. I kind of wish that I'd done this through it a couple of times now because it's yeah like a zipper effect or certainly looking like an outer space the last few nights here in Australia um, we've just had the most amazing moons at night it's been so breathtaking some of the moon colours and gorgeous oh I do like this look at this just nice and slow taking your time remember don't stress about it it is literally only paint so if you have to scrap it because you don't like it it's just a bit of paint I know it costs a bit but because you are basically diluting the paint so much um, it's more pouring medium than paint I suppose I'm losing all that orange should have maybe put some orange in at the beginning because then it would be coming through with this now so just slowly walking it down your canvas so you keep those gorgeous rings in there going not going to worry about the very tippy tippies because I have got a little bit more paint in the cup that I can tip over the corners and I don't mind that at all I love this crazy swirl that I did at the end and I wish I'd done more of it but that's something that I'm learning doing a test pour before a bigger one the rings that are coming up are gorgeous but as I said I really want cells to pop up in this and not just the rings even though it looks gorgeous as it is it's just not what I personally am after this particular pour so I'll just keep with it take it back to the center and look at those lovely rings there gorgeous so I'll bring back my this is just a, a cake uh, a cake cooler tray somebody asked me where it's, I just got it from a homeware shop it's just a cake cooler tray so they're great if you can keep up with washing them after each pour they stay nice and they can stay nice and clean except I often forget and when I come back the paint's dry so I've got a little bit of paint left in here I'm just gonna pour that on the very very tippies I don't mind that look at all not as pedantic about the edge like that that it has to be I'd rather keep that paint on the canvas in the center than uh, run it all off trying to cover these little tips okay that's quite gorgeous actually the colors because um, they've got the metallic in there in the gold the golds disappeared look in with the orange but let's see now if we can bring anything up lovely as it is but I'm looking for floating cells to look 3D and it doesn't look as though I'm going to get them today oh yeah there they are peeking through oh yes 
yes, yes. Now the orange is coming through. Gorgeous. So the heat gun is allowing you to burst. The heat gun is allowing you to burst any air bubbles that may be in your painting, but it's also allowing and bringing the cells to pop up to the top. If I hadn't used the heat gun, uh, many cells would not have popped up. So if you like your particular ring pour with just the rings, then leave it and don't put any silicon in your paints. But if you like the cells, which I love to come up, because they look like they're floating. But um, kind of wish this orange would have been in the centre. But that is really thinking about how you lay your paints. I should have started maybe at the bottom with the orange because I wanted it to come through the um, all the other colours, but. You know that is that will develop even further and my I've done this like I said a long time ago and it looked like with the um, the kind of rings behind and the cells on top they look like they're floating in kind of outer space I like it um, I don't love it but it might change, it might, the cells will certainly start popping up more as it dries over the next hour or so. So we'll just, I will post photos on at the end to show you the end results. It is quite a nice piece. Um, but from this exercise of doing it on the smaller canvas, I kind of know that I will, on the bigger canvas, layer a darker colour through to begin with. So that pops from underneath. Uh, well, actually, I think the, the first colour you put in is the one that ends up on top. So that's why the white is there on top now. So I obviously need to add more of the colour that I want to pop through during the pouring into the cup. But there you go. It still looks lovely as it is. The colours are really lovely. Please look at the end for the finished product because this camera, for whatever reason, doesn't get such detail I don't think even if I bring it up close the detail oh yeah you can see some of the cells how they, they look as though they're floating 3d look okay guys thanks for joining me thank you so much for subscribing if you haven't do, done so please do so it's completely free for you don't seek any um, payment from any of you but thank you so much for watching it's truly appreciated bye for now